Understanding Counterclockwise Rotation Hello, and welcome to another informative video. Today, we'll be exploring the concept of counterclockwise rotation. This term is widely used in mathematics, physics, engineering, and even in everyday life when describing the direction of movement. So, let's get into it. What is counterclockwise rotation? When we say something is moving or rotating in a counterclockwise direction, we're talking about the direction that is opposite to the way the hands of a clock move. In most regions, this direction is also referred to as anti-clockwise. It's a term you'll often encounter when you're operating machinery, opening a bottle cap, or even just turning a doorknob. How can we visualize counterclockwise rotation? A good way to visualize counterclockwise rotation is by imagining a traditional analog clock. The hands on the clock move from the top, 12, to the right, 3, to the bottom, 6, and to the left, 9. This direction is known as clockwise. Now, think about moving in the opposite direction, from the top, 12, to the left, 9, to the bottom, 6, and to the right, 3. That movement is counterclockwise. Another way to visualize it is to imagine a circle in front of you. If you start at the top and go to the left, you're moving counterclockwise. Where is counterclockwise rotation used? Counterclockwise rotation is used in many areas of life and science. For example, in mathematics and geometry, rotation of shapes and points around the origin on a coordinate plane are often explained using clockwise and counterclockwise directions. In physics, the direction of certain forces, such as torque, is sometimes described as being counterclockwise. In the natural world, many phenomena, like the circulation of air in low-pressure systems in the northern hemisphere, occur in a counterclockwise direction. So there you have it. Counterclockwise rotation is the direction that is opposite to the movement of the hands on a clock. It's a fundamental concept used across a range of fields from mathematics to physics, and even in everyday life. We hope you found this explanation helpful. Thanks for watching, and keep rotating those ideas in your mind, preferably counterclockwise.